Hey guys and gals, Sanitary103 here. Welcome to uh, Road to Getting Shredded, episode number 12. It is officially uh, day 27 of my cut. Giving you guys an update what's been going on. This uh, past week has been uh, pretty, pretty challenging, pretty, pretty trying, and I'm learning a lot about this whole process. That's why I'm taking you guys through this. So I think in the last episode or the previous one, I kind of... Uh, jinxed myself and said that the uh, weight loss or the, the fat loss I felt like it was going to get uh, stalled and it, it kind of did. Um, I weighed myself this morning and I went up half a pound but I'm not too worried about the weight because I think last week's weigh-in I um, was a little bit more dehydrated. I didn't drink enough water but in terms of how I look I pretty much look about the same so it's not like I gained any fat but I didn't lose any and that's kind of kind of normal once your body gets acclimated to the diet that's what happens and for me my body fat's already getting pretty pretty lean so losing that last bit is extremely extremely hard now I'm sure it's extremely hard for people that are overweight to lose weight I've never been um, significantly overweight and I think one person a long time ago on my channel asked me what you know gives you the right to give advice since you don't know how to lose weight since you haven't been an overweight well my answer to that is have you ever been um, single digit body fat if you're a male and or if you're a female have you been 14 to 17 percent which is where you need to be to have the abs sticking out and to be have that dry shredded to the bone look if you haven't you don't know how hard it is and I'm telling you guys it's extremely extremely hard and I'm figuring it out firsthand this week so um also in the previous episodes I mentioned, I've been doing things a little bit different. I've been doing some high intensity interval training uh, 10 minutes after my uh, lifting sessions twice or three times a week. I had another challenge with that. Um, I'm getting some uh, right foot pain in my instep area. So I'm gonna hold off on the uh, treadmill uh, for a little bit and just go back to the bike. So that's one of the challenges that I'm facing right now. Nothing too serious, I just don't want to suffer an injury after all I've been through with my fracture and previous injuries. So I'll still do the cardio, but more likely I'm going to switch over to bike and stay away from the treadmill um, for right now. The second main thing that um, I have done is I'm starting to do some uh, carb cycling. And basically, I did a video on this in the past. So basically on my non-workout days, I'm going much more lower carb. And then on my workout days, I'm going moderate carb. Now, throughout this process, I haven't tracked my macros right down to the T. But by midweek or the end of this week, if my fat loss has not progressed, then I'm going to track everything. It's going to have to be done because every little detail is going to count to where I reach my goals. So basically, on my um, non-workout days, my carb cycling, I started that on a Thursday, I believe. And I was going less than 50 carbs a day. Now, to put this into perspective real quick, uh, if you eat like a bagel, like a full bagel, that already has like 50 carbs. So there you go. You're already pretty much over in, in one shot right there. So it can be really, really tough because carbohydrates is um, the primary source of energy. It's also really tough because on my days at work, which it's been getting really, really busy, I'm getting really, really tired, and I'm noticing the first... Um, Whoops. the first um, couple hours upon waking up I'm really really fatigued and tired and I usually snap out of it but it's kind of rough because I actually don't drink coffee anymore because it kind of um, upsets my stomach well I shouldn't say anymore because I rarely ever drink coffee so I'm just checking in with you guys I'm gonna let you guys know that it's just not easy but this is the part of the process that's going to uh, build character so you know, it's one thing to read something in a textbook and say and spew out information. There's a lot of people on YouTube that haven't really gone through, you know, the trials and tribulations of reaching their goals, but can spew a bunch of scientific information. And it's not always about that. It's about me trying to connect with you guys. Humans connect with humans. So that's about it for this quick video. I need to go hit my legs. Um, the motivation is, eh, you know, it's kind of up and down. 
Um, I had like a big craving on Thursday, so this week's been a little bit rough, like I mentioned, but I'm going to keep working out hard, plowing through it, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. It might be for meal prep and or uh, me and my wife are both off on Friday, so I'm going to try to get some gym footage as well and show you guys that. Regardless, I hope you guys and gals are doing good, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.